шесть на сад. Welcome back to Ljubljana. It's Saturday and we're in search of the Saturday market. Do um, you think we'll find it? Let's start the show. Well, the Saturday market is supposed to be running between two bridges, but we actually start on the three bridges. <laughs> it's not called three bridges. It's the triple bridge. Triple bridge. Where we were in our previous episode. And we are going to be heading over that way towards our left yeah which will take us to the dragon bridge because there is a great story involving jason and the argonauts mm. and a dragon more on that later yes i think we are in the right area i see stalls on the left hand side someone selling magazines over here in newspapers so look it's a little a newsstand that's good yeah i don't know if, if they're all current issues or if it's more sort of historic ones i don't know what this is is it bags of things what's in this let's have a look dried fruits oh yes spices it's quite a pungent smell there's jewelry more jewelry this looks like honey Dragons, of course. More dragons. A dog. And even more dragons. Lots of wooden spoons and Slovenian souvenirs. And then it brings us out into this square over here. And it's quite a nice day. It was supposed to be raining, but we have been lucky so far. Very unusual looking sort of triangular sculpture there and someone stuck a label on it which says you need you people out eating and drinking it's about half past ten in the morning I see people have glasses of wine already well we're ones to talk because we had champagne for breakfast a very nice hall over there it could be the town hall i don't know and there's more stalls coming up over here and you can just sort of imagine if this was at christmas time there would probably be lots of decorations and lights because these almost look like christmas type stalls but of course they're not not at this time of year what's that bread or is it meat? Oh, it's meat. <laughs> Olives, patties and cheeses. There are lots of empty stalls here. Maybe they haven't set up yet. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe people just sort of rent what they, what they want, what they need. Uh, more honey. Some beer or wine on the side. Is this bread or cakes? No, it's meat again. Really? Why do all the meats look like bread? This is really weird. That's bread. Oh, that's definitely bread. That's definitely bread. This is bread. This is like some wooden products over here. You've got salami over here. And this opens out into another vast square. Oh, this is the real market here, I guess. And it seems to be mostly fruit and vegetables over here. Let's go have a look. Oh my God, this is kind of unbelievable. So this is all fresh produce in this area. Look at this. Oh, no, I thought that those were strawberries. They are <laughs> strawberries. Oh, fuck. No, they kind of look like tomatoes. Oh, right. Well, well, probably are tomatoes as well. This is all fresh. It's all fruit and veg. You can kind of smell it as well. So there's no need to go to the supermarket here. You just oh come to the God. Saturday market. This and I really also think that this market is on during the week as well. It's not on on a Sunday. They call it the Saturday market. But uh -huh. I think it's on during the week. At least it says that online. But you can never be sure of what you read on the internet, of course. 
this stall coming up here has got fresh flowers and there's more lovely and colorful and so was his t-shirt there are brooms over here more wooden spoons oh we've got clothes now starting off with shoes handbags shopping trolleys jackets blouses this seems to be all women's clothes so far uh paul what do you think this behind you is this brown oh my god this looks what is like that? something from Doctor Who. I was just going to say, it oh, looks like some sort of form, almost like the TARDIS could take. Possibly. Yeah. Should we have a wee look into the veg and fruit stuff? Sure. Look at these ripe strawberries. Mmm, very red. Look how red they are. Look at the oranges and the lemons as well. They've all got their leaves still attached means that they're fresh I think very fresh they've just literally fallen off the trees and that reminds me of when we saw the oranges and lemons growing on the trees when we were in Athens Athens yes that's right back down onto the main drag of the stalls and oh I think we're reaching the dragon bridge because I can see the dragons and I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity to tell you a little bit about the dragons and Ljubljana. Legend has it that Ljubljana was founded by Jason, the hero of Greek mythology who stole the golden fleece from King Aetes and then fled aboard the Argo with his comrades, known as the Argonauts, across the Black Sea and up the Danube and the Sava until they reached the Ljubljanica. There they dismantled their ship in order to carry it overland to the Adriatic coast where they rebuilt the vessel and set sail back to Greece. On their way to the coast they stopped at a large lake in the marshes near the source of the Lubianaka where a dragon was said to dwell whereupon Jason fought, defeated and killed the monster. Dragon symbols have thus been present in Lubiana since ancient times the dragon was originally present on the medieval coat of arms as a decoration, but later assumed a more central position. From its initial portrayal as a monster, the dragon gradually transformed into a symbolic protector of the city, embodying power, courage and wisdom. Are these dragons as well, Paul? I think there's one on that side too. Little mini ones? Yeah, I think that they're on most of the... Pillars. So we're on the other side of the river now. Come on, Paul, don't be scared, my dear. Vintage. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, you've seen a vintage shop. And as I said in the first episode, I'm really surprised at how narrow this bridge, or rather this river is. Oh, an Irish pub. Parrots. I think maybe we need to visit them here. Yes, I would think so. There's the shamrock. Well, we've seen dragons and now we're seeing dogs. <laughs> Paul, did you know that legend has it that dogs in Slovenia are the friendliest and most obedient in all of Europe? Never heard that before. In fact, they are so friendly and so obedient that they are even allowed to be taken <laughs> into churches. Oh, really? <laughs> and we're seeing quite a lot of dogs around, and I have to say, they are all being very well behaved. We've seen a few dogs, but I don't want to get their back end. I really <laughs> don't want to see an anus and bollocks. Oh, speaking of which, what's this? Look, there's an anus with a tail here. I don't see any bollocks on this one, although that tail could look like something else. <laughs> it also doesn't seem to have a head as such. What do you think it is, Paul? Like a mutant of some kind? Hmm. There's no name on this either. You'll have to let us know in the comments who this is.
<laughs> oh wow, look at all the locks here on this bridge. There's no room for any more, right? Yeah, every single bit of space has been taken up. And what's all this, Paul? It looks like a monster of some sort. Yeah. What have you spotted, Paul? This milk thing. Milk thing? I think... I think that you could buy unpasteurized milk. Oh, for right. one euro thirty. I think for one liter. Oh, look. Someone's just getting some. Oh, so you buy the bottle first, I think, and then you must fill it from some dispenser. Oh, over here is a dispenser. Look. One liter is one euro thirty. You can use this combination of coins. You get your bottle from the dispenser, and then this thing must lift up or something. You must have to put the money in first and then the milk will fill. Non-stop, daily unskimmed, fresh, raw cow milk. Alas, someone has put a sticker over the top of it, but it says you are standing at the milk vending machine where you can pour yourself fresh, raw cow milk from the dairy farm MIS situated at Zarch under the Smarna Gora. The only thing is, it's actually quite dangerous to drink unpasteurized milk because it means that all the bugs are going into your system. So if you have a bit of a problem with your stomach, like I do, it ain't going to help. Lactose intolerant, anyone? Mm. A top tip for you, if you are going to be traveling in Ljubljana in Slovenia, you could use your contactless Visa or MasterCard to tap in and then you wouldn't have to get the card that you might have to get otherwise for travel purposes. Another top tip for you, if you are planning on doing any shopping, you won't be able to do it on a Sunday because everything will be shut. Sorry about that. So it's just as well that we plan to do our shopping on a Saturday and we're going to take the bus actually to an area called City Park which contains CNA and I am in need of some underwear and of course I can only wear Dunn stores or C and A knickers so we are on the search for knickers today. We need the number 27 bus to Leta Liska so you do have these dot metric signs which show when the next buses are due and ours is due in five minutes. There's a bus map here, Paul. Can you point out where we're going? We're gonna go to this area. Is it actually at the end of the line, do you think? So it's like right over here. Oh. And we are at, I think, post office there? Yeah, post office. Posta, it was called. Yeah, here. So oh. here's where oh, all yeah. of them, in, here's where all of them intersect. Okay. There is information at the bus stop in English if you need it, but it is slightly out of date because it mentions the Urbana card, which you can still use, but um, since November 2023, you could use MasterCard, and from 2024, it also includes Visa as well, so you just tap in with your contactless. I do believe that the amount is going to be €1.30, and this is the bus going the opposite direction. Look, Paul, they have personalized the bus just for us. Oh, man. man. We're sitting right at the back. That's very unusual for us to be here, isn't it's, it? And it's very hot. It is. It's like a sauna in here. It really is. I don't like this. It's too hot. I wonder when we are going to come across the railway station. Oh, it's on the way here, is it? Uh-huh. There's very interesting steps up here. We are right at the back and you had to climb up this little ridge just to get here. And it's one of these bendy buses, so it's like two joined together. Well, not two buses, but it bends in the middle. So there's various stops all through the city centre. And then we're heading to... What was it? What's it called again? City, City Park, City Park right? Which is a big sort a of retail, a, area. retail area. Yeah. 
So I think that it is a good thing that it is a ND bus because this bus is quite is crowded. It? Yes, it is. And people standing as well. And there are still people coming on board. Um, there are lots of different areas to hold on to and the uh, stop button is clearly illuminated. Um, yeah, I think there is uh, a few pay points where I think oh. there was like one in the middle of the bus. So you can board in the middle as well. I think so, although if it has been closed, then I don't think you could. Okay. Only if someone's like leaving, I guess. Oh, right. Um, but you don't need to tap off again, otherwise no. you're charged twice. We don't want that, do we? No, we do not. Well, we just got off the bus and CNA is across the road from us. Looks as though it's quite a big one. What do you think, Paul? Look. Oh, it's quite big, is it not? It certainly looks as though it is. Yeah. They're bound to sell my knickers. I think so. <laughs> So what did you end up getting? Well, success. I found my knickers, which are exactly the same type and size that I have already got from them. Now, I did see a different one, first of all, before I saw these, and then I saw these, and I thought, no, this is what I'm going to get. I quite like the colors. I also got a rather fetching orange t-shirt, which was only $2.99. That was in the sale. And Paul, you got this rather nice cap which is um, kind of um, this dark green kind of military yes, green. Yes, khaki. And you also got, oh, this is nice, this selection of socks. Well, are, there, are there seven? Yeah. yeah. So it's a different color for every day of the week. So that might be quite nice, I think. Yeah. What I would say was I was also looking for shorts, the ones with the elastic waist and the sort of uh, elastic inner piece. But I think we're sort of mid-season when we're here, so they didn't have any. But never mind, I got my knickers. Gin's bar and we had a very light lunch of a cheese and ham toasted sandwich and a union lager and the entire bill for both of us we had the same thing each was only 15 euro and that's that pretty bad? good and that's exactly what we wanted a light lunch after quite a big breakfast we had this morning which you will be able to see on our hotels episode so now we have to take the bus back into the city centre and we have timed it because the stop is just behind Paul over there. Where's the receiver? This is a very strange phone box. Oh. Why can I not make a call? Paul, where's the phone? It's on this side. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. going up, but I'm trying to get this out for the After our very busy day, we went back to the hotel and rested for 
a little while but we have come out to Pratish I think that's what it's called the bar that we were supposed to go during our first night so this is a postponed trip now we also need something to eat so I don't know if we're going to get it there or not but we're going to check it out so come with us Well, you will have seen that we gave the thumbs down in there and I'm going to tell you why. This was the first disappointment that we've had in Ljubljana. They basically tried to rip us off. So the bill came out to about nine pounds. Nine euro twenty. Nine euro twenty. We gave them twenty twenty. Yeah, did the decent thing and made it easy for them. And they handed us a ten euro bill back. And, I, and then we I were thought, waiting for the what? one extra euro. And then she said, no, no, it's okay. As if they were doing us a favor. And I said, um, no. And luckily they had actually given us the printed receipt and I pointed it out and she still didn't seem to understand. So Someone eventually I said, it came to 920. We gave 2020, the change is 11. 11. And we did get the Euro back. But I, I know the difference between someone who is genuine. Um, ha has genuinely made a mistake and um, underchanged you or is it overchanged? No, under underchanged you yeah <laughs> yeah um, and I know when I'm being ripped off and this place was a rip off and to be quite honest we didn't really like it anyway not really um, part of it was dark you could smell the smoke from outside so I'm afraid smell. whatever you're called pritchy prit pretty whatever the hell you are called <laughs> no and we will, we not be, will be giving a review on TripAdvisor uh, to uh, give zero points anyway we didn't eat in there thank goodness so <laughs> we are on the hunt for food just like in the last episode so let's see what we can find Well, we had a very nice meal at Bodnikov Haram. Now, Paul, what did you have? I had a chicken Viennese style with chips. So that is kind of like, what's it called? It's a schnitzel. Yeah, it's like a chicken schnitzel. And I had the pork sausages and it said it was with roasted potatoes, but it was more like mashed. Although there was some sort of surprise thing in it. I don't know what there was like it some was meat, some meaty thing. I didn't eat it. I didn't know what it was. And sauerkraut, which was indeed very, very sour. I like Oh, look, it. look at my breath. Now, I've got a thing to say about your chips because I had some of them. They tasted exactly like the chips that I got from a chip van outside what? Ballymoney High School when I was 15 years old or roughly I think it was could have been 14 could have been 16 but what happened was I think there was a strike at the school canteen and so this chip van came outside at lunchtime for like a week or something every day and I'm sure the teachers told us 
oh, don't go to the chip van. But of course, everybody did. And the chips that we had here tonight tasted just like that. It's the first time I've had chips. Wow. That tasted like that in almost 40 years. Isn't wow. that unbelievable? <laughs> Well, we've had a really long day. I've been up since half past five. And I think I've been up since about six. But before we go, there is a very important message that Paul wants to convey to you now. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, hit the thumbs up. For those of you that want to leave a comment, please do so as well. And especially for those of you that have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button it's free of charge and it will help us on our journey to reach a thousand subscribers and plus if you want to buy us a coffee Ooh, yes. please, please do. do so as well because marcus is very thirsty i am well we have a lot more to come from Ljubljana, so we'll see you next time Cheerio, bye, bye. Wow, look at this vending machine. You can get everything in here. There's like, I don't know what that is, like some sort of like baby medication, I guess, if they are having colic or something like that. And Durex. And Durex, yeah. Condoms. So you could basically try not to have a baby and then have medication to treat your baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.